Hey guys, welcome to Atari Newsline. So, Lamasoft, the Jeff Mentor story, drops here uh, shortly in the next few weeks. So, I wanted to go over the new trailer and information that's come out about the game from um, from some reporters and uh, those in the gaming industry. So, this episode is going to be dedicated to Lamasoft, the Jeff Mentor story. And I'm going to go over some of my favorite Jeff Mentor games I own as well. Stay tuned to Atari Newsline. You are, you are watching, watching Ballistic, Ballistic Coffee, Coffee Boy. Boy. Welcome back, you guys. BCB here, your host. So, I'm so excited about Lamasoft, the Jeff Mentor story. Um, I'm a huge Jeff Mentor fan, as many of you know. Well, some of you might know. I um, I just love it. So, this is going to be awesome. Uh, I just can't wait. So, I, I um, actually interviewed Tony Longworth recently, who is a big Atari fan and a musician that's working on um, Heart of Neon. If this kind of this is a separate story from a story, but this is a um, movie about Jeff Mentor and uh, that's being being produced. We talked to the director as well, um, and uh, Paul, and uh, just some cool people. And um, I'm so excited that Jeff Mentor is getting the recognition he deserves in the States anyway. Because I know he's a little more popular in Europe. Um, his games were more in that vein um, at, at that time, right? Um, but just, just fantastic. I love so many of his games. So, um, I'm going to get into that at the end. Uh, my favorite games of his that I own, but right now I want to go ahead and take you to, uh, this, uh, cool trailer that's come out about this a few days ago. Uh, and this is put up by digital clips and, uh, here we go. Let's take a look. I've been lucky that so far in my career, I've always managed to work on stuff that I want to do. I want to make an experience which is just makes you smile, which you know, gives you that buzz, which just makes you feel good. Jeff was one of the true originals in gaming. Like, there's no one else like him. The first time I loaded up Revenge of the Mutant Camels, and I was like, what the hell is this? Am I being chased by an umbrella? Everyone else was just a company or a product, and Jeff was Jeff. What he makes is him. I remember lying in my bedroom in the dark and listening to Pink Floyd. And in my head, I would imagine like sort of abstract geometric shapes. And so I came up with this like 1K program, which I, I called Psychedelia. Does this work? I think it works. Maybe people don't agree with me, but at least I tried. Tempest 2000, that was the flagship game. That was the killer app. an artist that just gets more and more powerful. You know, I want to enjoy what I do. I want to feel happy with the things that I've made and I want to make things that I want to play with. Wow, just phenomenal. I cannot wait for this, guys. So much uh, goodness here in, in this documentary. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited about this uh, This this documentary for sure. I want to actually read you really quickly before we get to my games that I have. I want to read you an article that came out on Hardcore Gamer uh, about two or three days ago. This is by James Cunningham. It says, Lamasoft, the Jeff Mentor story, unveils release date trailer unlimited sheepies. Love it. Gaming companies come and go, but Lamasoft has stood the test of time for over 40 years with unique and quirky games. Lamasoft is Jeff Mentor, known for games like Grid Runner, part of Digital Eclipse's Goldmaster series preserving gaming history. Lamasoft continues to release games with a clear stamp of the creator's personality, from old classics to new titles like Aka R. Gaming companies come and go. Anyone remember Infogroms? The Atari name is still kicking around, but that's due to it being bought and sold over the years, bearing very little relation to the original company. Um, 
Working designs, Broderbund and Epics are long gone. Treasure and Cave are now just rights holding entities. Square Soft and Enix are Square Enix. Electronics Boutique is a name GameStop puts on some of its stores, etc. There are a few holdouts like Capcom, Electronic Arts, and Konami. But the business uh, needs to grow or die has led to a lot more companies dying than growing. Remove that requirement, though, and if the stars align just right with the combination of luck and perseverance, you just might get a Llamasoft. A long and productive history from a bit past dawn, but still the early morning of gaming. Llamasoft is Jeff Mentor, and Jeff Mentor is Llamasoft, at least in the case of the games on Llamasoft, the Jeff Mentor story. Starting off in 1981, Mentor published a huge number of titles for the VIC-20, Commodore 64, Spectrum, and several other computers of the time. Of course, he fails to mention Atari computers as well. The biggest hit was Grid Runner, which got quite a few sequels on different platforms, but there were literally dozens of other games from obscurities like Hellgate to the first light synthesizers in the form of Psychedelia and Color Space. Some were obviously in, um, inspired by hits of the time, like Grid Runner being a take on the Centipede formula, while others were unique and frequently weird. No matter how odd they got, each one had a very clear stamp of the creator's personality in it, making for a series of games that fed it devoted and surprisingly high-profile fan base. It's been a long journey from Deflex to Llamasoft's latest, Aka R, and while the releases aren't as frequent as they used to be, the library of over 40 years of game development is well worth exploring. Uh, let's see here. Let's go down to this down here. It says, uh, Llamasoft, the Jeff Minter story, is a collection of games from the very earliest days through the Atari Jaguar killer app Tempest 2000. It's also part of Digital Eclipse's new Gold Master series, which is a game collection and history lesson in a single package. Not merely tossing the games out into the world, but providing context as to why they're important. Gaming has traditionally done a terrible job of preserving its history. Anyone know where the source code for Panzer Dragoon Sega got to? But collections like Llamasoft, The Jeff Mentor Story show that we can do better. Like the first Goldmaster title, The Making of Karatika, the Llamasoft collection contains not only 42 games, but also documentation over an hour of video interviews as well. Topping the package off is Grid Runner, remastered, running off the original code but with the shiny new visual presentation, plus the previously unreleased Attack of the Mutant Camels 89 for the Connix multi-system. AMC 89 has only been available by emulation, with Jeff Mentor's full blessing and encouragement, prior to the collection, and while it took 35 years, it's finally getting an official release. With all the time that's passed, it's a small miracle that Llamasoft is still Llamasoft. From Space Giraffe to Polybius, Moose Life, and Minotaur Arcade, the games Jeff Mentor and Ivan Zor Zorzin, the tech half of modern-day Llamasoft, are producing today are very clearly from the same mind as those on Llamasoft the Jeff Mentor story. Today saw the release date for the collection announced, showing up in a few short weeks on March 13th. So... Definitely stoked about this, guys. I cannot wait for Llama Soft, a Jet Better story. I'm a huge fan, as I said. I'm going to go ahead and read you another story real quick. This is from GamingLife.com. It says, Llamasoft, a dive into Jeff Minter's gaming legacy. It says, Launch date reveal, Jeff Minter's gaming evolution. In a significant announcement at IGN's FanFest, Digital Eclipse has confirmed the release of Llamasoft, the Jeff Minter story, an interactive documentary for PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch, slated for March 13. This release offers an immersive journey into the career of Jeff Mentor, a unique figure in the British gaming scene of the 80s and 90s, known for his unconventional game designs and love for arcade shooters, domesticated animals, and vibrant visuals. A comprehensive retrospective, the documentary encapsulates a period when gaming was as much about innovation as entertainment. <clears throat> Highlighting Mentor's contributions to the industry with a compilation of 42 classic games spanning eight different platforms. It aims to provide an in-depth look at Mentor's work, featuring design documents, classic game titles, and exclusive video content from a director of Heart of Neon, a film exploring Mentor's impact on gaming.
feature classics, and modern remasters. Lamasoft, the Jeff Mentor story, is not just a retrospective, but also a celebration of Mentor's extensive portfolio, including renowned titles such as Sheep in Space, Andy's Attack, and Attack of the Mutant Camels, among others. These games have been updated with new quality of life features to enhance playability for modern audiences. So cool. Just cannot wait for this. Getting so excited about it. What about you guys? <laughs> just awesome. I love... Uh, just reading about this, it's just going to be incredible. So it says, additionally, the documentary introduces Grid Runner remastered an updated version of Mentor's iconic shooter game. This remaster retains the core gameplay of the original Commodore 64 version while incorporating modern graphics and sound for a refreshed gaming experience. Exploring light synthesizers. Beyond games, the documentary delves into Mentor's experimentation with light synthesizers, showcasing psychedelia and color space. These early works, now optimized for controller-based interaction, represent Mentor's pioneering efforts in combining visual art and gaming technology, offering players a unique glimpse into the creative mind behind Llamasoft. Exploring the visionary world of Jeff Mentor. Llamasoft, the Jeff Mentor story, stands as a testament to the creativity and innovation that defined an era of gaming history. Through this interactive documentary, Digital Eclipse invites gamers and enthusiasts alike to explore the legacy of one of the industry's most eccentric and visionary developers, bringing his classic works and the story behind them to a new generation. Platforms, Microsoft Windows, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. So I am, yes, so stoked about this. Let me know down below what uh, games you're looking forward to playing. I am just, I'm overwhelmed that I get to play games I never got to play before. All right, let me know down below what you think. So here at the end, I just want to show you some of the games I have uh, made by Jeff Mentor that I love. Now, the first one I got, of course, uh, believe it or not, was just about three years ago it was Tempest 2000 for the Atari Jaguar. I know it's bright in this room, but here it is. Um, I freaking love this game. It's, it's a popular game. A lot of people love it. Um, this is actually a almost unopened copy, as you can see. Um, just fantastic. It came out um, in 94 for the Atari Jaguar and it's fantastic. Uh, there's also Tempest 4000 on the Xbox. Check that out if you want a newer version of this. Um, just great. So I love Tempest 2000. It's actually one of my favorite games. So, uh, of all time. So let's go ahead and look at what else I got. So <clears throat> I actually got these off of eBay and I want to tell you guys, there are people that sell illegal software on eBay. So I got these and they're actually, um, like, um, copies, um, unfortunately, but I only paid like $20 a piece for them. So, uh, I have Llamatron 2112 for the Atari Jaguar CD. Uh, this is cool. Now, this is not an official release. Again, this is a copy, you know, um, a legal copy. But I didn't know that when I bought them. And then I also have, but I can't play them anywhere else, really. I also have Revenge of the Mutant Camels on Jaguar CD. These came, uh, they were sold separately. I bought them, though, on eBay, $20 a piece. To me, it's worth it. Um, you know, people are going to play the ROMs. I wanted to get the CD to play on the Jaguar CD. So um, so last but not least, I got this recently. I saw it on eBay for a really good price. <clears throat> I couldn't believe it. It was like um, under 30 bucks, and this is a popular game. It's the Atari 8-bit version of Grid Runner by Human Engineered Software back in 1983. Um, so this is a fantastic game. I did a kind of a deep dive on this in my show RTFM a month or two ago. Go check that out. Had a lot of fun with the manual and stuff. Really cool game. Kind of a, does take on the centipede formula in a way, but it's a space shooter. Kind of reminds me of Beam Rider as well, which is one of my favorite games on the 2600 by Activision. So Grid Runner by Jeff Mentor. Fantastic game. Play it if you can. So uh, let me know, you guys, what some of your favorite Jeff Mentor games are that you own. I can't wait to play things like Polybius that I've never played. Um, I want to play Hover Bover. It's been a while since I've played that. Um, and, 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 of course, Grid Runner Remastered or whatever it's called now. So I'm just so stoked about this. I'm also really happy that Atari bought Digital Eclipse. They seem to have kind of the same mindset with game preservation. And it really speaks to... Um, you know, the future looking bright for vintage gaming. I think by doing things like the Jeff Mentor, uh, uh, you know, collection um, and Atari 50 
and the Karatika collection, for instance, that this is great. This is going to preserve these games for future generations. They can learn about the companies and even like younger gamers now nowadays, right? So I'm so stoked about this. So all about game education, game preservation. So great partnership, uh, Digital Clips and Atari. I'm glad that you guys are now at the same company and can and, and could and you have the same philosophy. And so I'm just stoked about it. Let me know what you think down below, guys. And thank you so much for watching Atari Newsline. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment. Be a good person. Get your Java. Go play some Jeff Mentor. And go play some Atari. We'll see you guys later. Bye now. By the way, Atari, this is me and my editing phase after I made the video. Can we please put this out on the Atari VCS? I don't see why we can't. I mean, you own digital clips. Come on, please. I want to play it on the VCS. <laughs> Who is with me? Leave a comment down below. Thanks, guys. You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy. You are, you are watching, watching Ballistic, Ballistic Coffee, Coffee Boy. Boy.